it was a long and adventurous journey with Dr. Chunico. I hope you do justice to the man whom we honor today. As you will note, the things that we will discuss here will time and again present themselves to you as you go through your daily grind of professional concerns in your clinics and hospital. The talk will unearth the often disregarded groundswell of our code of ethics and professional conduct that naturally springs forth from a consensus of what and how we choose to define ourselves in the conduct of our profession as ophthalmologists. This is actually the outline of my talk, something that most of the time I remind my own staff at the beginning of the year, since we have new residents and perhaps new visiting consultants at the start of each academic year. I was of the belief that we have not been remiss in our duties in imparting the science of ophthalmology to our trainees and graduates. But I think, as educators, we have miserably failed to adequately provide role models in the art and practice of our discipline, its behavioral attributes. As a matter of fact, sometimes I feel that we have taught residents too much skills and knowledge that can be subject for abuse in their clinical practice later on. Dr. Simbulan reiterated what we in the academy had long believed that, and I quote, while we have our own characteristics, one must observe a standard set of behavior towards ourselves, our patients, our colleagues, and our community. Core value is that part of something that is central to its existence or character. It is the central and most important or the essence of something. It brings out the isness of something. What is values, on the other hand? Values is one's judgment on what is most important in life. It underlies a person's principles or standards of behavior. So core values is something that defines you, something that which you consider the most important in life eventually becomes who you are. Amidst a changing world, core values should remain primarily fixed and constant most of the time. Core values form part of the basic elements of how we do go about our work. And they are the guiding principles on how we choose or what should be using every day as an organization in everything that we do. So it defines who we are. Ethics is therefore, as defined, is a social concept of good behavior. It is a collective concept that evolves gradually over time as a result of interaction between individuals living together. So through time, based on common interest, an approved trend is established. And this was very much highlighted by Dr. Ang Leng from the Singapore Medical Association. I don't know if you know Monsignor Sok Villegas before he became Archbishop. He was the priest who anointed my brother before his death. And he told me, in truth, Ray, it's a very simple test deciding what is right and good. And he tells me, if the rotary has the four-way test, I need the three-way test. And he tells me basically three basic questions. And if your answer to these questions are in the affirmative, quit doing it because chances are it is wrong. What is the first question he posed to me? Are you going to do something simply because no one is looking? The second question he asked me is, are you going to do something because you just want to do it once in a while? And the third that is most confusing is, are you going to do something because everybody does it anyway? But the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. It can never thrive on self-centeredness. And if you believe this, if you believe in this and not live it, he says, then you are dishonest. Medicine as an ethical practice, it's the patient's interest as a primary concern, the other centeredness. And as I say, every encounter between a physician is bound by ethics and could be an ethical dilemma primarily because of the asymmetry of knowledge between the doctor and the patient. You know so much. You've been entrusted with the wisdom and intelligence and knowledge that the patient doesn't know anything about. The patient comes to you with a problem, and it is now you judging on what to recommend the patient. So that becomes an ethical dilemma. Therefore, medical ethics is just the application of ethical rules and principles to the practice of medicine. It's a system of our principles that apply values and judgment to the practice of medicine. I like quoting this. Uh, prayer of physicians that was conceptualized by Sir Robert Hutchinson. 
that very well embodies the very heart of ethics in clearly seeing patients as the significant others to whom we should connect by building bridges of trust in our chosen profession. In our modern day world, I added this, especially in the context of the changing landscape of practice of our profession, the following additional supplications in dealing with patients are quite apt. Mahatma Gandhi again could not have said it more eloquently when he said that our beliefs become the seeds of our thought that we verbalize into words, that in turn we put into actions, and actions done repeatedly occasion our habits, and that our habits engender the values that we cherish, and our most cherished values predicate our destiny. 